Hello friends and family and welcome to our boring meditation stuff for Wednesday, October 28th. Um, today, first of all, I feel like I should really revisit this idea that um, this is not meditation instruction. <laughs> I've, probably, I've probably towed the line on a few of these videos, um, giving specific advice or suggesting things. Um, on the whole, my, my advice is to go uh, visit a trained meditation teacher or to at least uh, follow some um, uh, the instructions of uh, a trained teacher. Um, my specific recommendation there is uh, the Anapana instructions I leave at the end of every video, but really um, any, any qualified teacher, uh, which I am not, <laughs> would do. Um, I've been asked, how do I keep coming up with content for these videos? How can there possibly be so much to say about Anapana meditation? of all things, since there's really nothing to say about Anapana meditation. There's nothing there. Um, there's nothing of great significance, um, especially for us at the, at the beginner levels of Anapana meditation. Um, there's, there's not much to speak about. And um, the reason is because meditation itself is not interesting. Um, Meditation is sort of this empty vessel where uh, there's nothing there, um, very little there. And especially for us, a group of beginners, there's, there's nothing to say. There's no, um, there's no useful content about the meditation itself. And I think that this is actually a difficulty for... Um, for modern society, in particular for Western society, to grapple with, that we always want to be entertained, we always want to be kind of amused by something. And then when more and more people become interested in this topic, um, particularly through commercialization, but even through free uh, avenues for learning meditation, people always want to make it more appealing. And so people are always coloring the meditation or changing the meditation or adding something to it, um, making it more complicated than it really is. And these videos ultimately are not really about meditation. They're about all the surrounding context. And the reason that it's easy to come up with content is because everything is connected to meditation um, precisely because meditation is connected to the entirety of ourselves um, the practice of serious meditation is about investigating the nature of consciousness and everything else that we do is through that and so of course when somebody gets excited about a topic um, they want to relate it to everything else so oh you know <laughs> It, everything is like literature. Everything is like the process of writing. Everything is like cooking. Um, everything is like archaeology. I mean, you, you wind up forming these sort of analogies and microcosms and things. Um, and meditation cer certainly has those. So you can feel... Uh, these sort of analogous scenarios within the scope of meditation um, to family life, to political life, uh, and to the, the march forward through time of humanity. It, oh, it mirrors my experiences within meditation. But that's not really what I mean when I say uh, meditation as an exploration of consciousness is related to everything else. I mean that directly through you, not as an analog, but because you are exploring consciousness, you are exploring the consciousness of cooking. You are exploring the consciousness of playing the violin. You are exploring the consciousness of an archaeologist. 
if that happens to be your job. <laughs> um, whatever it is that you are in life, you are in meditation. And in that sense, this sort of empty vessel that meditation is, is filled with whoever you are and whatever you do. Um, there's nothing special there. There's nothing mystical there. There's nothing magical. Um, there is nothing really significant or interesting at all um, that wasn't there in the first place. Meditation is just this really kind of straightforward tool for investigating all those things. So what are those things? My intelligence, my anger, my compassion, my sadness, my anxiety, whatever it is that comprises me as a human being that I can tease that thing apart, investigate it, and then see what the component pieces are and tease those apart and continue to explore and divide <laughs> um, whatever it is that that comprises my consciousness. And even that, at a very high level, um, meditation in the early stages begin, begins to teach us because we have no idea. What is our consciousness? Well, who am I? What is my consciousness? No one has any idea. And this is really the only way to know. There is no, there is no white paper you can read to find out, oh, okay, consciousness is like this and the human mind works in this way. Um, again, if you do that, you're just looking at, at models and analogies. And of course, someone, a psychologist, a neuroscientist, will reasonably feel that their field is this field through which all other aspects of life can be explored. Um, but it's no different than cooking. You're just creating models, you're creating analogies. You're not actually investigating the thing directly. And this is part of the reason that when you go for a serious meditation course, you will generally find that there are some uh, um, like neurosurgeons, neurophysicians, uh, neuroscientists who will be taking the course for the first time and they're actually trying to satisfy their curiosity is there a way to know these things directly rather than through EEG machines and fMRI machines and uh, randomized control trials and things like that where you're constantly exploring the external let me take this uh, population <laughs> I'm going to take a sample and I'll experiment and then I'll come up with some conclusions um, that's a very slow way of operating around consciousness and it's never really going to give you any satisfying answers with respect to what consciousness actually is, how does it work, how does it operate, and um, how can we improve it, which is ultimately the aim of meditation. So that is why there are so many of these videos is because um, Anapana meditation, Vipassana meditation, they can connect directly to absolutely anything uh, within our lives um, and very directly, not as an analog, not as a model. With that, I hope that everyone is taking very good care of themselves um, and taking very good care of everyone around them. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.